Hey everyone, TechnoMentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you two different ways to hard reset your iPhone 16 Pro. The first method we're going to use, it will not delete any of your data. Second method will erase and delete everything on your iPhone. So let's get started. So for the first method, what you're going to do is locate the volume up and volume down button and then this side button right here. We're going to quickly press and release the volume up and then quickly press and release the volume down and then hold on to this side button just like this. Make sure to avoid touching the screen at all. And when it says slide to power off, do not touch that. Just keep on holding that side button and it's going to go ahead and do a hard R reset where the data on your phone will still be there. But basically, turn off the phone completely and then reboot it, fixing any software related issue. This is something you want to do without having to lose any of your data. And now if this doesn't work the first time, keep on trying it a few times. Sometimes it does take a few tries, so it's going to be volume up, volume down, and then you hold on to the side button. Now the second type of hard reset is a factory reset, which is going to delete everything on your phone. So before you consider doing it, I highly recommend doing an iCloud backup or backup to your computer, which we explain in another video if you want to keep your data. Because once you do that, you cannot undo it unless you have a backup. So to do this, you're going to go into your settings and then go to general and then scroll all the way down here where it says transfer or reset iPhone. And then instead of the first reset, we're going to do erase all content and setting, which is a hard factory reset. And it will tell you that it will remove all of the apps that you downloaded, all of your photos, videos, music, whatever you have on your phone will get erased. Even your iCloud account will get removed. All you're going to do is hit continue and then a message like this will pop up and then it will begin the process generally takes about a few minutes for that process to complete i won't do this because of course that will take some time but that's how you're going to be able to do that so i hope this video was helpful if so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iphone especially i was on ios 18 and i hope this video is helpful if so again please make sure that the like and subscribe button we'll see you guys next time